I am Dr. Kanika, Assistant Professor in IMS Noida. So today we are going to discuss about the programming languages. You know, everyone knows about the programming languages where we learn how to do code or how to develop a software with the help of programming language. So programming language is a broad concept where you can learn about what is the traditional programming language, what is object oriented programming languages, right? In the market, there are lots of programming language and this industry is developing day by day. So let's start our video. This is the programming language concepts. Uh, what is a programming language? What are there so many? Why are there so many programming languages? What are the types of programming languages? Why we need these new languages? So we are going to cover uh, every topic one by one. So what is a programming language? A programming language defines a set of instructions that are compiled together to perform a specific task by the CPU. CPU is what? Your central processing unit. So programming language is a set of rules, right? Where you are performing some operations step by steps. So it's a way of telling a computer what operations to perform. A programming language is a set of tools for communicating an algorithm. Before to do our code, we have to develop an algor algorithm which have to be implemented in some language, right? So programming language is a step-by-step -step process where you can develop so many codes to develop a software, right? So it provides a linguistic framework for describing computations. So each programming language contains a unique set of keywords and syntax where you uh, learn how to do a code. So with the help of these programming language, uh, these uh, keywords and index, you create a set of instructions, right? So what? Again, a programming language is a notational system for describing computation in a machine readable and human readable form, right? Uh, look, um, there is a very basic definitions of programming language where you can, you have to write a code which is understandable by both the machine and human, right? If machine understand the binary code and human understand, human just only understand English. So you, when you write a code, so you do coding in English language, but it will convert in the machine language, right? Like just, I, um, I said earlier, okay, uh, humans just understand English. Human can't understand the machine language. So English is a natural language. It has words, symbols, and grammatical, grammatical rules. So on the base of this language, we create set of instructions. We create a code and implement it, the code. So a programming language has also words, symbols, and rules of grammar. So grammar's rules are called syntax. Each programming language has a different syntax of syntax tools like we have multiple languages we have typical languages we have object oriented languages we have scripting languages so every language has a different set of syntax tools where you can learn how to do code in every language you learn the logic will be same but the syntax but the way of a way to implement a code will be different. So why are there so many programming languages? Like human interface languages. English has a predefined grammar which needs to be followed to write English statements in a correct way. Likewise, why does some people speak French? Most of the human interface languages like Spanish, like uh, Hindi, like in India, there are multiple languages where people understand their reasonable, reasonable languages, right? So 
we have to understand that so many things involved and the connections involved with the languages right but similar to human interface languages computer programming languages are also made of several elements uh, we will through the basic of these elements and make you comfortable to use them in various programming languages right so uh, programming languages have evolved over time as better ways have been developed to design them first programming languages were developed in 1950s since then thousands of languages have been developed right like i, I uh, like i earlier said this this field is growing day by day this field has emergings and lots of opportunities where you can develop your own code like nowadays machines can communicate with you machines are doing the human tasks machines understand the emotions of humans so just because of this programming language we can communicate we achieved this task right so different programming languages are designed for different types of program levels of programming languages like there are basically three types of uh, levels first is high level program second is low level program and third is executable machine code high level program are those uh, programs where we uh, we uh, con con conduct uh, implement a code right so uh, these uh, some programming language provides less or no abstractions while some provide higher abstractions so based on the levels of abstraction we identify two categories one is low level language and second is high level language so high level programs here the levels of programming language means you writing and this code in english but low level program this is the your which where we are loading someone ke if we are doing suppose addition so what we will do we will load some register to store that uh, that variable and executable machine to means that the binary code which is which is understand by the your computer so what are the types of programming language means generations of programming languages so uh, programming languages have been developed over the year in a phased manner each phase of developed has made the programming language more user friendly easier to use and more powerful each phase of improvement made in the development of the programming language and can be referred to as a generation so the programming language in terms of their performance reliability and robustness can be grouped in the five different generation first is first generation second generation language third generation language fourth generation language and last is fifth generation language so first generation language which is called the machine language right the first generation programming language is also called a low level programming language because they were used to program the computer system at a very low level of abstraction that is at the machine level the machine language also referred to as a native language of the computer system is the first generation programming language in the machine language a programmer on, only deals with a binary number right what is the advantages of first generation language means this is the first generation so they uh, are translation free and can be directly executed by the computers the program returns in these languages are executed very speedily and efficiently by the cpu of the computer system so operation code is simple programming language there is no translations operates what operations have to be performed like but these are very efficient code but very difficult to write second generation language it it, it is also called a uh, assembly language the second generation programming language also belongs to the category of low level programming language second generation language 
comprises assembly languages that use the concept of mnemonics for the writing program in the assembly language symbolic names are used to represent the opcode and open part of the instruction scheme their program needed to be assembled for execution by the computer next is third generation language it is the high level language the ch third generation programming language were designed to overcome the various limitations of the first and second generation programming languages the languages of the third and later generations are considered as a high level languages because they enable the programmer to concrete only on the logic of the program without considering the internal architecture of the computer system means program written in source code which must be translated into machine code language programs which is called object code so there is no computer architecture involvement right the translation of source code to object code is accomplished by a machine language system program called a compiler compiler translate the high level language into machine language alternative to accomplish is interpretation there are so many third generation languages like proton pobol c and c++ usual basics next is fourth generation language so fourth generation a high level 4g language that require fewer instructions to accomplish a task than a third generation language so the languages of this generation were considered as a very high level programming languages required a lot of time and after uh, and effort that affected the productivity of a programmer the fourth generation programming language just were designed and develop to reduce the time cost and effort needed to develop different types of software applications like um, where you can it is a very efficient language where you use of data by implementing the various database like like query languages report generators forms designers application generators so the program developed in these languages are highly portable as compared to the programs developed in the languages of other generation like sql css cold fusion these are the examples of this language last is fifth generation language so declarative language means the programming language of this generation mainly focus on constraint programming the major fields in which the fifth generation programming language are employed are artificial intelligence and artificial neural network logic pro loop functional lips ml r these are the examples so these languages can be used to query the database in a fast and efficient manner in this generation of language the user can communicate with the computer system in a simple and an easy manner we are i told this i told about you the machines where machines are doing the human tasks machines now understanding the emotions of the of a human so in this is all about the fifth generation language where with the help of this artificial intelligence machine learning neural network with the help of these languages we a machine can communicate with and uh, with the humans machine machines are performing so many tasks efficiently and effectively with the help of this these languages so beyond fifth generation languages so they are uh, although no clear definition and present because natural language programs generally can be interpreted and executed by the computer with no other actions by the user than stating their question so limited capabilities are present like uh, today itself there are so many lots of, there are so many challenges exist like uh, what happen if machines can control machines will control to a human right there are lots of challenges how to handle the data what about the human's privacy like if we are depending on the machine completely and which is going on in this generation so what will 
happen in the next future machine can control our lives there are so many films which is based on this topic this concept so beyond fifth generation we can't say anything so much right now because there is no current definition no present exact definitions available so this is all about the generations principal paradigm like there are so many lots of languages like this exist c c plus plus prolog lips so like everyone knows about it c is a mother language so firstly we discuss about the programming language like two broad groups are exist first is traditional programming language and second is object oriented languages traditional programming language is what we have every step has been performed step by step or we can say every um, steps perform sequence of instructions like we will talk we already talked about in first second and some third generation language so it's all these uh, till third generation languages these languages were co called traditional programming language and uh, ex, uh, in the mid of the third generation and till fifth generation these gener uh, these languages are called object oriented language so there are lots of difference between the traditional programming language and the object oriented program programming languages how object oriented languages is better than traditional programming language so there are lots of difference where you can directly see the uh the difference like in the traditional language if the code is almost um, uh, if i will take an example here so it's a very simple example you can understand it in a traditional programming languages you can write so many lines of uh, to of uh, so many lines of code to de uh, to develop a small simple thing but in object oriented languages you can do the same task with code in four to five lines so there are lots of differences there are in object oriented language lots of libraries available where you can call the library and implement um, this code so it's very simple in the object oriented language but in the traditional programming language you have to write everything one by one you have to implement those things so let's start traditional programming languages like fortran formula translations developed at ibm in the mid 1950s designed for scientific and mathematical application by scientists and engineers next is cobol common business oriented language these are the obsolete languages developed in 1959 designed to be common to many different computers typically used for this is also used for the business applications basics beginners all purpose symbolic instructions code the full form of this language is developed at dart mouth college in 1960s developed as a simple language for students write programs with which they could interact through terminals c like everyone knows about c because we are we call c as a mother language of all the programming language developed by bell laboratories in the early 1970s provide control and deficiency of assembly language while having third generation language features c comes in third generation so often used for system programs unix is written c c is a program dependent platform dependent language so this is all about the traditional programming language like i already uh, discussed that there are lots of difference between c traditional programming languages and the object oriented programming language but this is the basic overview where you can understand the traditional programming languages concept and the object oriented programming concept so object oriented programming the languages means C++ C++ is basically 
the extension of C. It is C language with additional features, means the extension of C. So whatever in C, it automatically comes in the C and some additional features add-on has been added in C++. So widely used for developing system and application software, graphical user interface can, interfaces can be developed easily with usual programming tool. Like in the C++, it, what is happening here is means in, in C++, we use the concept of object. Like it is also called the object-oriented programming language. So what is object? Where we are create an object for reusability, for accessibility. Where in the object-oriented programming language, the main advantages of this language is the reusability of our code. Java. Like C++ is a partially independent language, partially object-oriented programming language. But Java is fully object-oriented programming language. Java and object-oriented language similar to C++ that eliminates lots of C++ problematic features. Like in the um, means problematic features where there are lots of, of OOPS features has been added in Java. Okay, uh, means uh, 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 lots of features like encapsulations and allow a web page developer to create programs for applications called applets where you can in you can do the application API, application programming interface. So with the help of object, oops, you can develop for, you can develop so many applications. So objective of Java developers is that it be machine platform and operating system independent. The main feature, it's provide the security, the platform independent language. There are some special programming languages, which is called uh, the scripting language. Uh, scripting languages is, uh, or a script language is a programming language for a special runtime environment that automates executions of tasks. So the task could alternatively be executed one by one by a human operator. Right, so scripting languages are often interpreted rather than compiled. So there are so many scripting languages like the JavaScript, VBScript, PHP, ASP, Perl, and Python. So these are the scripting languages. So there are some command languages. Command languages like uh, there are some commands which you have to run. Uh, like uh, SH, uh, CSH, Bash, a command language is a language for job control in computing. So it is a domain specific and interrupted language. So just like uh, the common examples of command language are shell or batch processing languages. Next is text processing. Uh, test uh, text uh, processing languages. In computing, the term text processing refers to the theory and practice uh, of automating the creation or manipulation of electronic text. So there are lots of uh, languages available like LaTeX, uh, LaTeX, Post, Script, NLP, National Processing Language. So. With the help of these language, our regular expression is a virtual editing machine having a primitive programming language that has name, named identifiers and name position in the sequence of data compromising the text. So with the help of these languages, we create or generate a process report of the content. 
so html is also in a scripting language hypertext markup language used on the internet and the world wide web the collections of the web pages so web pages develop puts brief brief codes call text in the pages to indicate how the page should be formatted how a uh, client communicate with the user with the server so with, these are the this is all about the programming languages where you uh, um, now i hope so <coughs> uh, so you learn uh, i hope you learn about you understand the concept of the traditional programming object oriented programming and the scripting programming languages so criteria what is the criteria in a good language it has writability readability orthogonality reliability maintainability generality uniformity extensibility standardability implementability these are the so many criteria for which a good programming language contains so it must these criteria must be available in your code so thank you all that's all about the basic features types or whatever we can say the introduction of a programming language thank you